welcome to another episode of Carolyn and her clothes. So today I have a stitch fix um, and if you've been following along, I have been having some issues with stitch fix, them just not getting my style, sending me kind of dated items. Um, I'm looking for more on trend items that are casual that I can wear all the time because I'm permanently work from home. I had sent customer service an email and I thoroughly explained what I wanted to them. And they said, oh, you know, the response was, and I was, it was kind of like a dramatic email. I'm like, I think we need to part ways, Stitch Fix. <laughs> and they said, we'll, we'll let your stylist know and we'll put all these notes on your account. So I got a new stylist. Her name was, is now Gabrielle. And I have to say, uh, she, I do have the Stitch Fix preview and I do have the style pass. So I don't pay for Stitch Fix at all. So they're sending me this box as often as I want it, up to every two to three weeks. And it's free shipping both ways. I keep what I want, send back the rest, and I don't pay anything. So if I don't want anything, I don't just send it all back. If you don't have the style pass, uh, you would have to pay $20 per fix, and anything you kept, that $20 would go against your what you purchased. If you didn't keep anything, you would lose that $20. So. Honestly, if I did not have the style pass, I would not be doing Stitch Fix because my last several boxes have been kind of disappointing. All right. Um, matter of fact, I can't remember the last time I really kept anything. I, it's, it's been a while. It's probably been about three or four fixes. So I have to say, Gabrielle did read my notes and she did try. And with the preview, I picked out two items. One was a pair of jeans and one was a white cardigan. I am looking for a white cardigan. Um, but as you know, summer is over now, so it's not really on my priority list. So it would have to be something I absolutely love in order for me to keep it. Jeans, again, I have a ton of jeans. So I, again, they would have to be something unique and fit really great for me to keep. But honestly, other than jeans and casual pants, that's all I wear nowadays. I don't leave the house too much. All right, so I'm gonna go through the items here, including what I picked out in my preview. So the first thing I picked out in my preview were these silver jeans. I have never tried on silver jeans. These are the Elise Slim boot cut jean in indigo. So they have your classic five pocket styling. This is the back detail on the back pocket. They have a little boot cut they're a medium wash, and I really kind of like these. Um, I do have one pair of boot cut jeans that are a little bit more of a darker wash. This has a, no distressing on it at all. And I do have to say, when I look at this, and I might be completely wrong when I put it on, but when I look at this, this looks generous to me. This is a waist 25, length 29, and it's a zero petite, okay? So that translates into a zero petite. And these are $79, so not a great price, but not a horrific price. I think that's probably what they probably go for in retail. They're cute. I will try them on. I do have to say, I have a ton load of jeans in this medium wash. I hardly have any light and I hardly have any dark, but this medium color wash, I have quite a bit of. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, next up is something I picked out in the style preview. And this is the white cardigan. Like, as I said, I needed a white cardigan. And when I picked it out in the preview, I did not realize it had a hood, okay? Now, I have nothing against hoods, but when you wear a hood, it kind of makes it a little bit more casual. And the white cardigan I'm looking for, I need to wear when I go out to a nicer restaurant for dinner and I'm a little bit cold in my sundress and I want to put a little cardi on me, like something a little bit nicer than a jean jacket. And this kind of then defeats the purpose with the hood. So like in that little preview, it was kind of like back like this and I should have known it had a hood because I had the strings, but I guess I just didn't notice it in the preview. Um, it's point tail, which I do like. Um, and you know, it's, it's pretty, but unfortunately, and it has the side slits on the sides, but unfortunately I think I'm gonna end up sending this one back, even though I did pick it out in the preview, just because, um, it's a little bit more casual than the need I need for a white cardigan, all right? Next thing that she sent me, all right? And this is a little bit disappointing because I, ex try, I explained this to the customer service person, no more blouses, unless they're like really unique, you know, or really good going out blouse. 
I have so many blouses, all right? This is the Vince Camuto Palmyra Ruffle Detail Blouse, and they're calling this navy, and I'm looking at this, this is plum, I'm sorry, I don't, this is purple, dark purple, I don't see navy in this at all. Size extra small, $78. It has a couple buttons down the front, all right, which you can open and it looks like a V-neck, but it's actually buttons, all right? It has a very ruffly sleeve, which is cute, I like, so it's probably like a short sleeve with a long ruffle, okay? It's polyester, there's no question about it in my mind. Um, if I was working, I'd probably be all over this. I'm gonna show you some examples in my closet, things fairly similar to this. I just, I really do not need another top like this. I will try it on um, so you can see how it goes, okay? Next up, she sends another pair of jeans, okay? These are the NYDJ Maryland Straight Leg. Size zero in indigo, $139, all right? Two reasons I know they're going back right now, all right? One is they're size zero. I need a petite when it comes to a straight leg, all right? Number two, they're $139, and I'm not paying $139 for just basic jeans. So they're also kind of like a weird wash. I didn't really care for this wash that much. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's like almost over dyed. They're called Sure Stretch, and I have to say, these look smaller to me than the silver jeans, but there's a lot of stretch to them. Um, these are water-conscious denim, so it says it's denim made for women, for women, made by women for women. The eternal struggle to find jeans with the perfect fit ends here. And these are lift and tuck stretch. All right, so, I don't know. They're gonna be too long, is what it is, all right? This is a way too long of a leg for me. But I will try them on so you can get an idea, all right? The last thing she sent is a pair of shoes, and this is where things get interesting, all right? If you have been watching me, you know I like my heels. I like to give myself some height, I'm short. <laughs> she sent over the Franco Sardo, and get the name of this, Carolyn, with two N's, Patent Loafer. Yes, my name. And she specifically said in her note, she says, loafers are so trendy at the moment. And she is right, they are trendy. So I appreciate that she's looking to see that I'm looking for current trends. So I'm very happy she sent over something that is, is new and different and hasn't been in their inventory for 10 years. So I'm very happy about that. Um, but loafers, I don't think I can do. It's just a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I like my heels. So when I first saw them, I'm like, I'm just gonna leave them in the bag. I'm not gonna try them. I don't, I'm not gonna keep those. Well, let's just say my interest has been peaked enough. I will try them on, all right? I really don't think I'm gonna keep them, but I'm just really curious what they look like on me and, and they, how they look. So let me show them to you, all right? They're a loafer. The lug heel is what really gets them trendy. And I did say I like lugs. So I want something lug. I have absolutely no lug soles. So I was looking for something with a lug sole, but I was thinking like a chunky boot with a lug sole type of thing. Um, they're like a burgundy color and would look great with this blouse. All right. So I'm going to try on the jeans, at least one of the jeans, <laughs> loafers and a blouse with these shoes and try them on. I do have to say, just looking at them, um, they look narrow. I wear like a size seven regular, but I do have bunions, so my feet are a little bit wider and sometimes seven regulars don't fit. And these look like they might be the type that don't fit. They look narrow. There is an awful lot of cushioning in here. Um, they're by Franco Stardo, and I'm sure that they are fake patent, not real anything, um, because they are $89, which I do not think is a bad price, all right? I will try these on. Um, I really don't think I'm gonna keep them. They're just a little bit a little bit too much out of my comfort zone. Like I said, if these are chunky, heeled, even a heeled loafer, I've seen those. <laughs> I might be going for it, but to have a flat shoe, I, I don't think I can go for that at this time. So give me a minute, I'm gonna do a try on. Okay, I have three of the things on. The first are the silver jeans, okay? Um, the fit is pretty good. Um, they're actually a little bit big on me, and I'm worried as I wore them, they'd stretch out and they start sliding down. Like I said, when I looked at them, they looked a little kind of generous, okay? The second issue I have with them, and you cannot see, I'll pan down, 
I actually think they're a tad too short. They're, yeah, I think they're too short, believe it or not. So I guess I need like a 30 inseam if these are a 29, um, which is surprising. Um, yeah, they're just a tad, tad little too short for my liking. The shoes. The shoes, are, believe it or not, are a little bit too big. My foot's slipping right out of them, and they're not tight at all. I thought they were going to be squishing my feet, but they're not at all. They're actually quite comfortable, and they're actually too big. Like, as I walk, my, my heel actually comes right out of them. Uh, the blouse. Uh, the blouse is cute. There's nothing wrong with it. It's definitely my style. Uh, I just simply don't need it. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down a couple of shirts that I actually have that are fairly similar to this. Give me a minute. Okay, so this is the blouse Stitch Fix sent me. In my closet, I already own this one from White House Black Market. It's a black background with like purple scroll work. All right, I'll come closer so you can see. All right. I also have this one from Stitch Fix, which is different enough, I think, but still, this is navy, and it's like um, a faux wrap style, and uh, it's got burgundy, no, not burgundy, burnt orange flowers, all right? Then I have this one, also from White House Black Market, solid purple with scroll work, and like I said, this one is like a burgundy color, so yeah, this one's different enough, okay? And then I have this blouse from White House Black Market. Same colors, except that it has what more white in it. So this is more on a white background versus black background, but same thing. And then I have this one. I got it from Nordstrom. It is a Madewell. It's a dark purple with florals, all right? So I really don't need another dark blouse with uh, floral or any kind of... I would say this is like a floral slash paisley plat pattern. So I do like it. It's definitely my style, as you can see. I just don't need it, okay? And it's not anything to die for that I must have. Um, you know, I do love the sleeves. It's cute. Totally me. But again, I just don't, can't justify it, especially with me not working. Or not working outside the home, I should say. Let me pan down and show you the shoes and uh, the length of the jeans, okay? So back up here, here are the shoes. And like, as you can see, when I walk, my foot slips right out of this. So this is way too big on my uh, foot, which is again, surprising. Um, and the length, you can see it just hits the top of the shoe of the jeans. So for a boot cut, I like them to cover most of the shoe. So I am very surprised. I usually do not have this problem with petite. Petite usually fits me well, I'm pretty short. For reference, I'm five foot two. Um, so yeah, these are all going to go back. I do appreciate she sent me the shoes. It's something definitely on trend and definitely different from my wardrobe. Just a little bit too outside my comfort zone. If they had a heel on them, I would have been all over them. All right, give me a minute and I'm gonna try on the uh, cardigan and the straight leg jeans. Okay, last up are the straight leg jeans by NYDJ. I actually don't own a pair of NYDJ, and I think this is the first time I'm actually trying them on. Um, they fit in the waist and the hips and everything. I had to wear my highest of shoes with them. They're called a straight leg, but in my opinion, they're looking to me a little bit more boot cut. Um, there's something about them, and I think it's the length. I just don't, I think they're just too long. They just, even with the high heels, they kind of like bunch up down at the bottom and kind of pull. Um, so yeah, these are going back. This is the uh, cardigan, and it is very pretty, okay? I'll come closer so you can see the point tail detail, all right? It has the split size. It has various different uh, knitting throughout it. Very pretty. I just think that with the hood, it just kind of makes it a little bit more casual and very beachy. It's cute, uh, but a little bit more casual than I was going for. I just want like a, if this didn't have the hood, I think I would have just purchased it because of the price is right. I think I said it was 44 or $46. So um, very cute. All right. Let me show you the back of the jeans. Okay. By Pocket Styling, not too thrilled with the wash. I'll come closer so you can see the wash. It's like a, a dark, like, over dye type of wash, okay? And while I like dark wash, there's something about this with the lack of variation in the color. 
it just seems a little strange to me, all right? And let me show you the bottom. So I'm wearing the highest, pretty much the highest of heels. Let me pan down a little bit more that we'd be willing to wear. And they're not touching the floor, but there's something about them that they're kind of like bunching up in this area here, maybe because of the boot, I don't know. And I don't know about you, but this kind of almost looks to me like a boot cut, the way it flares out versus a straight leg to me. Let me know your thoughts on this. They're calling this a straight and it looks to me boot. Um, they're very soft and very comfortable jeans. However, I think I mentioned this before on my channel, $100 is pretty much my breaking point. I'd be willing to pay $100 for almost anything. For a really nice pair of boots or like a really good piece of outerwear, $150, you know? Um, but for blouses, jeans, everything, it's like up to $100 is what I'm willing to spend. I would not spend anything really more than that. Well, I think everything is going back in this fix. I am going to keep this stylus because I do see that she tried and she listened to my notes. There was nothing that is out of my style completely. Um, the loafers were out of my style, but she did listen to the fact of trendy and the lug soul. So I appreciate that. I'm gonna stick with her and see if she will work with me and hopefully find me some pieces that are unique and that can add to my wardrobe. So we'll see. Uh, thank you again for returning subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's holding you back? I do a lot of shopping hauls, try-ons, um, if you haven't already, uh, give this video a thumbs up and click that notification bell to get notified of future videos from me. Take care and until next time.